Hello Taurus, welcome to another love reading. This is going to be a you and them love reading. So we're going to be looking at uh, your energies, how you feel about each other, what's going on in the connection, and what is uh, next for the connection. As always, this is a general love reading, so it will not and cannot resonate with everyone watching. Just because you're watching this reading does not mean that it is your story. So just keep that in mind. If this resonates, please let me know down in the comments. Hit the like button and subscribe. If it doesn't resonate, um, check out my playlist for Taurus. I have a lot of videos there. So let's get into this. Spirits, angels, guides. What messages do you have for Taurus when it comes to love? All right. So I'm actually going to take the one that flipped in here. And the one that fell on the floor. Heart to heart conversations fell on the floor and let go of control issues flipped inside of the deck here. Allow the situation to unfold naturally and honestly discuss your feelings with each other. And just because I'm curious, the bottom of the deck is it is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Open your heart, heart to heart conversations. So I'm picking up something about uh, confessions interesting let's see for Taurus please spirit what messages do you have for Taurus what's going on in their connections this will be for those of you who are in some sort of a connection with someone or have someone in mind what's going on with Taurus and love messages for Taurus please spirit Let's see, what's going on in this connection? Wow, okay, so we have the Knight of Cups. Again, that feeling of like someone coming to confess, talk about their feelings for you, maybe even apologize here. We have the Six of Swords. Someone could literally be coming to see you getting on a, an uber or a car to see you a plane and then I have the hangman upright someone's seeing things from a different perspective and it's giving them new clarity in this connection there could be somebody who is maybe doing a lot of thinking about what to say when they do come forward Someone could be leaving a difficult situation here. We'll see when I clarify. Tell me about this Knight of Cups for Taurus, please. Why is this Knight of Cups here? Ten of Pentacles reverse. This could be an apology for a broken commitment or for the fact that something hasn't been stable or solid. Tell me more about the Knight of Cups. Yeah, this is about someone that, I feel like this is strongly an apology. Nine of Cups. Interesting, it's almost like someone is, you know what I'm getting? Someone that's apologizing for making you unhappy by making themselves happy this is someone that thought about themselves and now they're coming to you to apologize yep bottom of the deck seven of swords exactly that's the, that's the energy that i was thinking of here someone who was thinking of themselves how they could get away with something or avoid something and you know maybe some some someone was trying to preserve like self-preservation someone was thinking of themselves only here and I feel like they want to apologize now that things haven't gone well or maybe say they're sorry for what they ruined or whatever loss there was here. Tell me about the Six of Swords. Why is the Six of Swords here? Five of Cups, not Cups, Five of Pentacles reverse. Someone wanting to come in out of the cold, have some sort of recovery here. Tell me more about the Six of Swords. 
Yeah, three of cups. This is someone that wants to come together, have some sort of reunion, um, recover something. Yeah, ten of cups at the bottom. So I feel like this is someone coming to you to try to make things right. That's what I'm seeing so far. Tell me about the hangman. Knight of Swords. Wow. Whatever they've realized or whatever situation they're seeing differently now, they want to move quickly. Communicate quickly. <coughs> Tell me more for the hangman. Oh my God, six of cups. So this person really cares about you, Taurus, or feels, you know, this could be somebody from your past. This is all about a reunion, three of cups, six of cups. This could be that someone, I have the death card at the bottom. Could be that something has ended, a situation has changed, someone has changed. Could be dealing with a Scorpio as well. So this is a very clear message for me. Honestly, this is someone who um, wants to make things right with you. Is coming to see you and wants to talk in order to make something happen here. So let's see, how do you feel about each other? For Taurus, please, Spirit. Oops, I was about to flip this. <laughs> I forgot that it's my Oracle deck. Tell me about how Taurus and this person are thinking or feeling about one another. Let's start with you, Taurus. What are Taurus's energies in this connection? What are their energies in this connection? Okay, we got wolf and rabbit. So two uh, polar opposites here. So I feel like when it comes to this person, Taurus, you're kind of undecided. Sometimes you are very sure of yourself and other times you are overwhelmed by fear or anxiety. Um, I'm also picking up, it's like you don't know if you could trust this person. There's apprehension here. What about the person that Taurus is dealing with? What are their energies at this time? Oh my God, Tarantula. Tarantula is kind of like a uh, alert, alert. <laughs> Pay attention to this right now. I feel like your person, it's, it's almost like they are um, in panic mode. <laughs> um, almost like I, I really need to fix this quickly. This could be someone that maybe the signs are cautioning you about them or um, perhaps there's like a red flag here. Um, with this person and I only say that because I have the raccoon at the bottom of the deck which is kind of like that seven of swords energy so let's get some more information I'm using my stellar energy oracle deck this is my own deck um, it's a digital deck that you can print at home it's linked down below if you're curious it's very affordable because you can pretty much print it on whatever in whatever format you want to print it all right so let's see spirit give me more information about these energies here for Taurus and this other person. Tell me more about Taurus. Tell me more about Taurus, please. Walking away, departure, moving, journey, walking away towards a more stable situation. Interesting. So you've either walked away from this person in now or in the past or thinking about it. Tell me about the person that Taurus is dealing with. What are their energies? Tell me more about the person that Taurus is dealing with. Mirrored souls, soulmate, faded, love, twin flame. You both mirror each other in this connection. So this is kind of like... um. What I got here with the Six of Cups, um, this this person thinks that you are their soulmate, Taurus, or they feel a very strong connection towards you. Now it says here you both mirror each other, so you could feel the same way about this person, um, but for some reason you were thinking that it might be time to walk away, so that's very interesting that that's the energy that you have at this time. 
um, towards this person or regarding this connection here. So let's get more information. I have little pieces of my smudge stick. Okay, spirit. More information, please, for Taurus regarding this connection. Tell me about, let's start with you, Taurus. How is Taurus thinking or feeling? when it comes to this person or this connection. Oh, I got two. Oh, we got eight of cups. So you're definitely thinking about walking away or you've walked away from this person. Let me know if this is resonating down in the comments, Taurus, and then have strength, courage. This also is a card about control, um, about having control, about being able to be a master of your own emotions, um, keeping things under control or in a balanced state. You could be dealing with a Leo. Tell me about the person that Taurus is dealing with. How are they thinking or feeling when it comes to Taurus or this connection? The Hermit, Virgo energy. Page of Swords Reverse. So this person might not be able to, I mean, even though they want to talk, I don't think they're quite ready. Let me see if you're able to see that. Move this a little bit more down here. I don't think that you are quite ready to, they're quite ready to talk, tell everything. Talk, why can't I talk? I just forgot English for a second. It's like they, they don't really know if they can tell you everything or perhaps... They've been thinking about what is unsaid here. We'll clarify this to see. But it wouldn't surprise me if this is someone that's kind of hiding something because have the raccoon and then black egg right after. These are two cards. This card's about speaking your truth. So this heart to heart conversation, honestly discuss your feelings with each other makes sense. Can I get one more? for the person that Taurus is dealing with. What are their thoughts or feelings towards Taurus or this connection? Four of Swords Reverse. So this person's think is restless, wanting to take some sort of action here. Interesting. Do I want this deck? No, I'll use this one here. So let's clarify this and get some more information. I feel like when I when I see you, um, when I look over at your energy here, Taurus, and by the way, this is Taurus for me and this is your person, but feel free to flip them if they resonate more. But when I look at this energy over here, I think of someone who is trying to appear as a wolf. Strong, um, confident, in control. I feel like this is the vibe you're giving off or the energy you're putting out there. Um, very no-nonsense energy I'm getting as well. So let's get more information here. Let me clarify these energies for Taurus, please. Why is the Eight of Cups here? Why is the Eight of Cups here? The world oh okay so Taurus I feel like you're ready for a new start for a new cycle and that's why you're walking away you're walking away towards something completely new tell me more about the eight of cups please for Taurus well I'm just gonna pick that up exactly like it fell on the floor seven of cups yeah it's almost like this is you thinking about what else is out there for you. What other options you have? Uh, maybe you're fantasizing, daydreaming, picturing a different future for yourself. Can I get one more for the Eight of Cups, please? Let's 
nine of cups reversed because you haven't gotten your wish fulfilled you're not satisfied with the way things are you're not satisf satisfied with your life or with this connection and i feel like some of you even wonder like is this even worth it have i just wasted my time like this energy here tell me about strength tell me about strength please why is strength here ace of swords yeah like this is you no nonsense this is what I'm picking up for you, Taurus. If you do communicate with this person, there's no emotion here. It's all direct conversations, um, clarity, very open, very frank. Tell me about strength. Five of Pentacles reversed. So I feel like this is where you're marrying each other. I feel like if you were to start over with this person or hear this person out or have some sort of reconciliation with this person, I feel like your energy is one of like, well, if we're going to really do this, we're going to do it my way and we're going to be, you know, completely upfront with each other. No more lies, no more messing around. Let's be adults. That's the energy I'm picking up here. Can I get one more for the strength card? Yeah, because in your... At the back of your mind, I feel like there's doubt. Is this ever going to work out? Should I give them a chance? Um, is there a future here? Because I feel like you're only interested in stability. Peace. Tell me about the hermit. The Emperor Reverse, Aries Energy. Tell me about the Hermit. Six of Swords again. Can I get one more for the Hermit? This person, the Moon Reverse, Pisces Energy. This person, um, I feel like they're com they're it's like they're coming to you, traveling to you. This might be a surprise with the moon reverse. You might not see them coming towards you. Um, with the emperor reverse, though, I'm getting someone that this is this whole situation is out of their control, um, and probably that's why they're restless and trying to figure out how they can do this. Let's see. Let's clarify this um, emperor reverse. I keep feeling like I need to shuffle this deck between uses. Tell me about the Emperor Reverse. I see Emperor Reverse. I see Emperor Reverse. Interesting. I'm getting the message that they feel their hands are tied. Interesting. But yeah. They feel their hands are tied. Like, I feel like this is how they are. Like, they don't, they can't let go of this. And there's, like, the tower right behind them. Um, This person, I feel, they, they, they think that you are their happiness or they, um, probably there's something that came out in the open that it's almost like they weren't able to stop with the moon reverse. Like, this is complete clarity here. Um, so some of you might have already figured something out that this person did, but um, I feel like the situation is now out of their control. Oh my gosh, I'm already at 19 minutes. I My readings for Taurus always go super long. I don't know why I always end up talking so much in your readings. Tell me about this page of Swords Reverse and we'll move on to the outcome. High Priestess Reverse. Yeah, something's definitely coming out here. Something this person didn't, um, let's see, can I get one more for the Page of Swords Reverse, please? Have the Moon Reverse and the Page of Swords Reverse. Page of Wands Reverse. It's almost like this person might not tell you the whole story out of fear of um, having things not go their way. I'm not gonna take all these, but yeah, this person could be in a, um, could have marriage problems or be in another commitment or there's problems with the stability of your connection. And I feel like this person caused a lot of those problems possibly here. Tell me about the Page of Swords Reverse one. 
One more, please. Six of Cups again. This is about the past. There's something that happened in the past here that someone wants to talk about. They want to make things right. Again. And, I, you know, but, but I'm really picking up that it's not up to this person. This person could surprise you with their, you know, trying when they um, try to talk to you. But be very careful because I feel like whatever they tell you, it's like a red flag here. They might not be completely honest with you right off the bat. And with this page of wands reversed, they could have some sort of um, obstacle that they have to deal with. Yeah, I feel like this person is um, having some sort of obligations or some sort of difficulty with a burden in their life. And I don't think they have the strength to really um, fight that right now. So this burden could literally be a weight. I'm picturing an anchor right now. Someone who is literally tied to something heavy. I feel like um, that is why there's not a lot of progression here. It's like I can only, um, this person can only talk. Knight of Cups, Knight of uh, Swords. They can talk, but they can't make you an actual offer. If that makes sense. So let's see, what's the potential outcome here? Or what's next for this connection? What's next for this connection? between this person and Taurus. What is next for this connection in the near future here for Taurus? Four of Swords. What's next for this connection? Here? High Priestess Reverse again. You know, it's like I'm picturing you minding your own business, Taurus, <laughs> or perhaps there's not a lot of communication between you and this person or not a lot of movement. And then something surprising happens. What's next for this connection? Can I get one more, please? Page of Cups reverse. So someone's heartbroken, disappointed. Um, again, I'm getting the sense of someone, it's almost like um. They begin to apologize or try to apologize, but they are not able to like really cover everything. Like they don't apologize for everything, if that makes sense. Bottom of the deck, six of pentacles. Once again, you know, this is someone that I feel is trying to rebalance the situation. They literally are trying to give you something, but I have a feeling that, you know, I feel like they're trying to appear as this man in the red robe but they're really down here like they're the ones that need something from you not the other way around i don't know why i'm picking that up but that's what i'm feeling strongly when i see that it's like an appearance it's, a, it's something this person is appearing to be or something like that i feel like something that this person tells you will surprise you and that could be a good surprise or a bad surprise um but i feel like it's something that is coming after like you know when when things are quiet and peaceful um it could also be that this person is doing a lot of thinking right now thinking of what exactly to say how to say it what's behind the six of pentacles wow the ace of pentacles and the ace of swords so this could be somebody coming to bring you a big offer here this is an actual offer though but with the page of cups reverse i don't know some of you could be um shattering this person's dreams <laughs> so i'm going to leave it there taurus thank you so much for checking out this video i hope you enjoy the reading if you did please hit the like button and subscribe if it resonated for you please leave me a comment let me know how it resonated i'd love to hear from you um thank you to everyone who continues to watch my readings and support the channel i really appreciate it and i'll see you all in another video take care